Monday storm brought quite a bit of rain and there may be more on the way next week. But no matter how much we get, conservation is always top of mind here in Southern California. And as KCAL News reporter Joy Benedict shows us, saving rainwater plays a big part. Winter in Southern California looks a lot like this. If we're lucky. It's been raining a lot in LA. <laughs> and when it does, homeowners like Miguel Vargas are doing what they can to capture the watery gift from the sky. The water leads from the roof all the way to the gutter, from the gutter all the way to the rain barrel that's right here. He just installed two rain barrels to the roof of his back house in Huntington Park, and then he uses it to water his fruit trees. Just another way that we could actually conserve water and be able to help the world in a better way. It's part of a push by the county to use our water more efficiently. Last year we had an extraordinary year. There was about 30 inches of rain that we got. Another sign of climate change. Amanda Begley is the watershed program manager at Tree People. We're trying to move away from using these water sources that are very far away and try to use the water that falls here. That's because LA's infrastructure was built to move water to the ocean quickly to avoid flooding, as she demonstrates daily at their urban watershed garden. Onto the concrete, picking up whatever waste is on our driveway, on our city streets. And then into the ocean. Every time it rains one inch in the city of Los Angeles, that equals 3.8 billion gallons of polluted water running off into our ocean. LA County spent $280 million in the first three years of its Safe Clean Water program to try and capture our rainwater. But there are things that homeowners can do too to help. Is there a bit of concrete that you can break up and, and make the water be able to sink in? Begley says look for paving projects that help the water soak back into the ground. Divert your storm water off the driveway to a tree well. And yes, get a rain barrel to capture the water that lands on your roof. We've already filled it up at least five times. And Vargas was able to put that water where it was needed, helping his trees grow without wasting one drop of nature's most precious resource. Joy Benedict, KCAL News.